Hey guys, welcome back. So today I got the Astro A50 wireless headsets and the A50 mod kit. Now this is the like comfort kit basically or the noise canceling ear cushion. So it's gonna help cancel out any outside noise coming in. These headsets are like $2.99, but I mean you do get what you pay for. So I, I think they're worth it. Hard. Take a look at the packaging real quick. Very sleek design. This is almost like how Apple packages their products. Very sleek design box. All of your specs right here on the back. As you can see, you're gonna have the headset and it's gonna come with the charge base down here. Some of the features on this headset are the five gigahertz wireless technology, 15 plus hour rechargeable lithium ion battery, Dolby headphone 7.1 surround sound, built-in mix amp, pro quality audio, precision microphone with flip up mute, USB sound card functionality, customization software, and mod kit ready. Pretty cool, let's open this bad boy up. Oh, that's a tight fit. Very nice sleek design on the inside. Not that that matters. And right here, I believe it opens up. Oh my God, and there they are. Check that out right there, holy crap. And very nice, they look amazing. It's like a matte black on the sides, but then you got this very shiny metallic blue color. Oh man, these feel good. They feel real good. These cushions right here, now this is like a cloth material, but man, they're like super soft to push in. You can see I'm not even really pushing, and they just, they go in. Oh man, they feel, and what's cool about these, like I, it's kind of muffled while I'm talking, but what is cool about these is they're so, they're so comfortable. These are, these are the most comfortable headsets I've ever gotten. You literally forget that these are on your head while you have them. Uh, you have the downward mic right here. So whenever you're talking to your friends, you just bring it down. If you want to be muted, you just put it back up that mutes it. You don't have to worry about clicking a uh, mute button or toggling and you don't know what the noise, because a lot of the mute buttons sound a lot alike. It's like, boop, 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 boop. Like, you get confused. I was confused about, <laughs> about that on my last one, but this is a lot easier. It's there, it's not. It's on, it's off. So really easy. On the side here are your buttons. You have gain, so that changes your gain volume up and you have a voice, which will change your voice volume. So you can balance out between game and voice. Right here, you're just gonna have your volume wheel up and down. Your preset options, one, two, and three. Right here is gonna be your power switch. And right here, I believe is going to be your Dolby surround 7.1 surround sound on or off. On the bottom, you can see your metal contacts right here for the charge port. This should be able to hook up to your computer and download any updates or any other presets. Man, that thing, that look, it looks so sleek. This is awesome. So see what else we got in the box. Right here, you can actually just pop this off. That was where your headsets were on this plastic. And you got your optical cable. Inside the box, you're gonna have your manual, other information, probably warranty information. You got your charge base here. And this looks like it's gonna be your micro SD cable. Here's your charge base. It's got a little protective film right here. That sounds good. Very sleek design. Now, I heard there are issues with some people. I don't know if they're just making it up or complaining, but um, talking about getting the, the headset to sit on the actual metal contacts, but I think they must have been putting it on there wrong. That seemed like it clicked. It clicked in very easily. Standing up, I heard it click into place. It's actually magnetic. When you put it on, it literally clicks into place. So I don't see how you could mess that up unless you you put it on uh, backwards because there's actually two and one metal contacts. There's two on this side, one on this side. So you have to line it up with the metal contacts on here, which there are two and one, as you can see. Right there, you got your aux, your optical out, optical in, and USB ports on the back of the charge base. Pretty simple design. Next, we're gonna look at the A50 mod kit and put it on the headphones, see if they make a difference. All right, so right there, that's all you're gonna see in the mod kit. So you got your ear pieces and it looks like you have a top headband. Just touching these, I can kind of tell that I, I like the feel of the ear pads that are already on the headset right now. But this is supposed to help with noise cancellation. What is kind of cool on the back, it looks like it's just magnetic points right there that are just gonna click into the, the headphones. That's actually really cool. It looks like it's gonna be pretty simple just to click into the headset, so we'll see. <laughs> wow. Uh, just to show you guys how simple this is, there's a little piece of plastic here and they come out super easy. That's insane. 
Look at that. They're on there just with magnets. So they come out really easy. That's crazy. I wonder if the top portion is that easy. That was actually a lot easier than I thought. There they are without it. But we'll go ahead and easily replace those. Wow, that easy. And the headpiece here. And right there, it's in. So, that's awesome, that's awesome. Uh, feels like my Elite 800s that I used to have has that uh, that leather feel, but that definitely has a better seal on the outside. Uh, I said in the beginning of the video, I sounded a little muffled. Now I sound even more muffled. Quite a bit of the noise outside. My washer machine was actually running and I can't hear it right now. This does do the trick for uh, noise isolation and I believe the mod kit is only like 40 bucks to get. I'm not gonna do a sound check. I've actually had these before. I had the Generation 2, these are the Generation 3 a50s and they sounded amazing um I did a comparison on my own I used to have the elite 800s and I used to have the gen 2s for for the a50s I'm gonna have to say they're they're pretty on par with each other as far as sound quality but I did keep the elite 800s just because they had uh, Bluetooth and a couple of extra features this one doesn't have Bluetooth but it does have extra presets that you can load on here I believe they're strictly for gaming you can watch movies and listen to music with these and I bet they sound awesome but but these are like your pro grade headsets for gaming. That's it guys, that was a review of the A50 mod kit and the A50 headphones. If you liked the video, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay solid.